The topic today is sweet heart. How many of you can really make the heart like this? You can try that. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Right. So there's heart inside there, right? All right. So you can all make a heart, right? Yeah. How big is your heart actually inside? What? That heart is pumping so much every day. Does it really sleep at all? If, the, if that sleeps, you are going to get it. Go to sleep. Finish. Is the heart will sleep or I will sleep? <laughs> so, so, heart is very special. Right? Today we are actually going to talk something about sweet heart. What is the sweet? Yeah, yummy, all right. The heart made of sweet? Is that right? What do you see? Okay, I am asking a question. How many sweet hearts are there? How many of you can, can count the exact number? Um, 11. Hmm? No, yeah? 8? 11. 11? Only one. Only one? Okay, how many pieces? Huh? 12 pieces, yeah. 12 pieces? Yeah, how many? 10 pieces? You are looking somewhere else at the training tent. <laughs> okay, 10 pieces you need? Okay, count again. Count again. Okay. 11. Yeah, yeah, that's different thing. How many pieces are there? Yeah? 12, okay, 12 is the answer. But I'm saying it's not 12. 11. 11. 11. No, there. Did you include that? This one also? Yes. Okay. Who said 13? I said 13. Okay, what is the 13th one? The heart. The heart. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Good. So we have 13. Right? Sweet heart. But why not sweet brain? <laughs> but if you if you really go to you know to a restaurant, you can actually order brain, you know, like sweet brain. Sweet heart is famous, you know, nobody says sweet brain. No. No, no, no. Right? We are going to find out today. J -J 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 They are, they are husbands, you know, they are male. Hmm? 
and then female they are thinking they are female and then they also fight with each other there is big there is a big community for supporting the male and another one for females and all the thing when they die what happens they will know oh my god i am neither that nor that so it is cheating so in fact in the spiritual world there is only one purusha is only krishna all the jivas are actually in the way female so it is a fake marriage you know can you think about that? you know now things are going wild but but you know so it is like basically what a marriage is happening for we with, with the female and female it's a cheating but we think that that's not so it's a, it's a illusion now they get old who anyone wants to marry this kind of people we are very old right look at because you cannot avoid this hmm? every everyone who has really taken birth in this world they have to face this there is no way of escaping but we are thinking we are in illusion ah there is a long way to go long long way to go i have so many things to really complete before that you know so much of money so much of fame so much of this and everything but by the time you realize that okay i better do something about it you will be like this then you cannot hear you cannot see ha huh? you cannot even stand up properly and this is this that's the time then you will be feeling really sorry for yourself nobody will help you so this is a reality what kind of we heart is here and as a soul we do not have any any birth or death hmm so we have only really come from nowhere or something we we have eternal we are eternal the living souls now you are not the body you are not the soul who are you you belong only to krishna no to anyone else how many marriages we we might have done Millions and millions of births, one after another. Oh, sweetheart, where are the words? God, this is a reality. And that heart, which has prema for Krishna, is something special. That is what I will call as the sweetheart. To whom it is sweet? To Krishna. Huh? To Krishna, you will be a sweetheart. Now I have another question. We in the in our body, right? We have so many things. Heart is just one of them, and then you have neck and brain. They are all on on the upper side. Why Krishna did not take the position of the topmost? Why he chose something in the middle? Isn't it? What is why why he did that? Why not the head or brain? Right? You are always saying sweet heart, but no sweet brain. So why he has chosen that? Hriday heart is um, you do not think with your heart; you accept it as it is without questioning. Correct. That is it. The brain has the intellect. It will try to interpret the things and it will try to apply the logic. This is the problem, and it will try to come with its own solution. Okay, that is good. But will that solution be be right? You never know. The solution it is giving is based on your experiences. You are how much you are at the intelligent, how much brain you have. That's what is going to do. But car is different. Suppose your husband and wife they are going to buy a car. How the the wife will react? I love that color. That is beautiful color. I love that color. And the man will think no 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 no. Color is something not important. You can change the color. Look at whether it is working or not. The husband says, "No, no, I don't care whether it is working or not. I want the car <laughs> right now." So, in the way, the females are very bound to go by the car, huh? and then men are they use their logic. But who is superior? We don't know. It's all depending on. For whom you are giving the car for? If it is for a car, it is really superior. But then on the other hand, the women they have a really a good edge in this one because why? They are the one who has the love. Why? Why men are not getting pregnant? 
<laughs> I mean, we should change the breathing somehow, right? Why not? Because the reason is, it's a female aspect, it's a loving one. The love comes from them. And Krishna is controlled by love. So where will he go? He goes straight to enter the heart only. Hmm. Now even if you look at the Srimad Bhagavatam, why Srimad Bhagavatam? Srimad Bhagavatam means Sakshat Sri Krishna. If you see all the way from Canto 1 to 9, we start from very basic, the, from the feet and goes on and on. Up to 9, it will say, Srimad Narayan is the topmost. And then it will let it try to come. But they are all up to coming to the ch church level, all the 9 cantos. Go like that. When it comes to 10th canto, kind of, that is the heart. Then when it comes to the heart, the complete thing is reversed. Oh, Krishna is why I am Bhagavan. Whatever I really told you that, you know, who are the greater Vishnu and then, you know, Maha Vishnu and then the Narayana like, like that, was to prepare you. Now I am giving the truth. It is our way. From Krishna, everyone came. So, the tenth canto is very special. Okay, and if you see the Srimad Bhagavatam, one third of the whole Bhagavatam is 10th Kanta only. Because that is very, very important. Right? Then comes to 11th and 12th, they are like neck and the brain. And they are like summarizing, and you know, like we have a lot of, uh, lot of things that are going on, summarizing, that is fine. But here, the important one is the 10th Kanta of the God. So Krishna loves the God. He wants to be in the God. And this Yama Sundara, is attracted only by pure heart, not any heart. Hmm. And once he comes in, that's it. He grabs everything. Because that's why he is called Hari. What does Hari mean? Hari means when he is stealing everything, not only butter, it will steal everything from him completely. He is a big chora. Isn't it? So, that is the quality of Krishna.
ಬಾಮನ ವಂಶೀಧರಣ ಮನಮಾಲ ಹರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಓ ಶ್ರವಣ ಓ ಬಾಮನ ವಂಶೀಧರಣ ಮನಮಾಲ ಹರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಓ ಶ್ರವಣ ಶ್ಯಾಮಳ ಹೋ ಸುಂದರ ಚಿತಚೋರ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ಓ ಶ್ಯಾಮಳ ಓ ಶ್ಯಾಮಳ ಹೋ ಸುಂದರ ಚಿತಚೋರ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ 
nor the eightfold perfection of yoga, nor liberation from birth and death. Such a person desires me alone. Na parameshyam, na mahendra dishyam, na sarva bauham, na rasadi patyam, na yoga siddhi, apunar baham, mayar pitat mechati, mahasvinayat. So, they don't want anything else. No Brahma. We really talked about Brahma. What Brahma? So they are I mean, in one way, right? Brahma is very, very high. Hmm, that Brahma, they are very high. But they have posts, they have positions. And why do they? They want only me. Nothing. Nothing else. That's what he says. Something very special about his very dear, dear devotees. What is that? Nirapeksham munimshatam Nirvairam samadarshanam Anuprajamyakam nityam Uyeyeti angrivenudihi Very solid! With the dust of my devotee's lotus feet, I desire to purify the worlds situated within me. Thus, I always follow the footsteps of my pure devotees. They him. are free from all personal desires. They think only of me alone and my pastimes. They are peaceful with equal vision and without any feelings of enmity. Nirapeksham Munim shatam Nirvairam samadarshanam Anuprajamyakam nityam Uyeyeti angrire nubihi Wow! This is, this is very powerful! He is saying because if you read that very clearly, he is also hiding some more, more inside. My God, I want to purify all the world's mind by the lotus, the dust from my, my pure devotees. This is because in Dwaraka, the Lord Krishna was there. You know, what did he worship? He worshipped all his devotees. Because Lord Shiva is there, first to Vaishnava. So he worshipped. And not only that, he used to have their dust from he opens that and that's what he is. He worships. This is the way. This is why, why go feet? Everyone else is going to towards Krishna. Oh Krishna, oh Krishna. We go to Krishna. We try to go to Krishna. Everyone, his word Sakas. Everyone goes to Krishna. But in the case of Gopis, Krishna goes to them. Isn't it? Krishna goes to them. Begging, oh Rade, oh, oh Lalite, I want, you know, she is desperate. But they are saying, you, no, go away, don't come to us. So this is our way. So now he is begging. Huh? Begging even the gatekeepers of their residence. At the foot, you know, he, he falls down. Ah, Rupa Goswami is lotus feet, you know, he just, you know like a, a Rupa Manjari. He just falls on him. Please, 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 allow me to leave it. Radhika. So this is the situation. Hmm? So Bhagavad Gita, who spoke? Krishna spoke yeah. to Arjuna. Hmm? Then Uddhava Gita? So him, hmm? Krishna spoke to Uddhava. But now Gopi Gita, who spoke? Gopi spoke, Krishna listened. Everything is ulta. We cannot understand. Hmm? So that is what is the for Krishna. Hmm? They are all like flowers, like fragrant flowers, right? See, that is a sweetheart, okay? And once Narada went to Lord Krishna, he got some big question. He was really just, he could not understand how this can happen. So he went to Lord Krishna, Oh Krishna, 
I have a question. Yes, Naradaji. What is your question? My question is this. You know, I see a big difference between those who worship other gods, which are also your expansion, other gods, and yourself. Oh, what is that? You know, people worship so many, so many gods. They offer so many things. And they are very rich. So rich. They do so much of yajnas and so much of pujas and food. so many things they do, they offer. They become very rich. And they have so much of wealth. So much of wealth they have. And they, have, they are so opulent. My God, like kings and queens and you know, like, like that. I mean, because they, they just ask for it and they get it. Oh Krishna, I have a question. Look at your own, your own devotees. They are beggars. They don't have any place to stay. They don't have any desire. Sometimes they eat, sometimes they don't. Huh? They sleep under the tree. This is what is going on. They sometimes many of your devotees they don't even have a cross to wear. I see this big, big difference. What is happening? I am confused. Then Krishna said, Oh, I will explain. Come with me. Okay, sure. But one condition. We are going to dress like my own devotees. We both of them are going to dress like my own devotees. Okay, let us do that. And instantaneously, they became two one is Krishna and the other one is Naradaji. So they just came down to the earth and they are here. Oh, oh Krishna, what do you want to do? Yeah, let us go for a walk. That is nice walk we will go. And they were just walking and walking and walking for a long time. They actually came to a place where there is not this kind of greenery. It's all like a desert. But they are talking and talking. Both became very thirsty. Very thirsty. So then Krishna was also looking at Narada Ji. Narada Ji. He also was looking at the, the face of Krishna. We are, we are thirsty. We want some water. What can we do? So they were trying to search now for water. Where they can find some water? They are going and going. They get so tired. And then finally they came to, to a place where I cannot really go any further. And I, in the distance, they saw a house. Wow. They came to the house. Very nice. Good. And it happened to be the Jamidar of that whole village. So they came to the place. And then they knocked at the door. Knock, knock, knock. There was Somebody just came and then opened the door. They saw these two mendicants. Nothing. Like beggars. He looked at them. Look at what kind of life you guys have. You don't know how to enjoy the life. And what do you want? You want some money? No, no, no. We want some water. That also you don't have it. You are carrying water pot and that also you don't have anything. This is, this is not good. Look at me. I am an example. In this whole village, I am the Jamita. How? I make lot of money here. So much of money. So many servants here. And you don't have anything. You don't know how to enjoy the life. Please give some water. We are very thirsty. No. And you have to, you have to learn. You have to earn that. And he closed the door. You guys are doing only what? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. And then what? You don't do anything. You have to take care of yourself. You have to have responsibility. This kind of thing is not good. I am going to teach you a lesson. No. You just close the door. Then Narada looked at Krishna. And Krishna also looked at Narada. Oh, what can you do? Look at this guy is so arrogant. Because of the money and then fame. 
then Krishna immediately said, I want to say one word for to him. The Narada said, no, 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 he's already closed the door like on your, on your nose and you want to go again? No, I'm not coming, you go. You go now. So Krishna Narada, oh, excuse me. So that guy came again with the furious. What do you want? I want to say something. I want to give a blessing. Blessing to me? <laughs> what are you going to say? You should get so much of wealth, so much of money, so much of fame. And live very happily here. And okay, all right, okay, I don't want okay. Just close the door, then back. And this Narada got a little so wild. I man. That guy did not even give water. And you gave so much of blessing. To be to be what? More wealthy again. Oh my god. More wealthy and then more opulent, everything, more fame, everything. Narada really got furious. Krishna, what is going on? Why are you doing this one? Why? Because you, you we didn't have any water, maybe your brain is dead? Okay, let's find some water. Okay, so Krishna said, okay, all right, uh, I, okay, let us go, let us go and then look for some, somewhere else at least to get some water. And Krishna said, you know what, we will go a little different, we will just go a little, little far, come with me. So they are walking and walking and walking and walking. And at the end of the village, far away, they could see a hut. It looks like a, almost like a falling, you know, kind of fall in the, you know, mad state. So they walk, they walk there and they reach the hut. There were one, there was one cow and a car and they thought there must be somebody inside. They are so hungry. They are, I mean, the third speed. They, they just shouted like, Krishna shouted, Oh Maya, Oh Maya. Are what? I didn't know that you have a relation here. Who is that? No, no, there is a old, old lady. He is living here. I think she may be able to give you something. Oh, you came all the way here for that? So then, when they say, when they called Maya, Maya, so there was an old lady who was responding. Oh, yes, I am coming, I am coming. And they all went in inside the small hut, very, very poor hut. They saw a small statue of Krishna. And there is something offered also. And these two, the cow and the calf, are there. And she, she was inside. And you can also see the, the cot. Remember, it's all, you know, it's all tied up, you know. Suppose you really sit on, on that, you know. Probably a little more jump, then you break. So she also told, please, please come here. I was just, just now only thinking about the Krishna. I was just offering something, whatever I, you know, have. And you have come to the right time. Please come, and then I will give you something. Wow. Then Narada said, "Oh my God, here is complete. Okay, she doesn't have anything, and she is saying she is going to give you something. So what is going to work, going to bring?" And Krishna looked at Narada ji. Narada looked at Krishna, and and she, you know, she is very old. She really took a small vessel, went, and she was taking fresh milk from the cow. And when she was doing, she was telling, Oh, oh, mendicants, this cow is my only wealth. Using that, only I am really living. My life is because of this cow and the cow. I just, you know, every day I milk. And then, after, you know, I, I also offer to Krishna. And then, I just give it outside. So I sell, then bring some money. And that is, the, you know, whatever I get a little bit of that, that's what my life is. There's nothing else. That's the only one. So that is my dear. That cow is my dear most. Because that's the only one I am living with. There is nothing, no support for me. Ah, okay, very nice. So she really bought them. Brought them very other milk, fresh, fresh milk. And they both were drinking to their heart. They were so thirsty. They could really, you know, drink so much. And Krishna ate, we drank. And also Naradaji also drank. Said, oh, thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Maya. And they all came out. When they were coming out, they were just walking for some time. All of a sudden, there was a big sound, you know, crying sound from the cow 
and the calf, what happened? Finished. They just died right there, and that old lady was crying like anything because she doesn't have anything now. Even that little cow he heard. No, finished. Now what? How can she live? And that roar, that that crying was really echoing. And Narada just looked back. Something happened. It, it, it's coming from the same house where we did drive. It's coming from there. Oh Krishna, oh Krishna, look at what happened. Krishna said, oh, just, you know, he just turned him. And then what happened? Immediately because of his power, he, they all went. Straight away they are now in Gorok. Narada was so furious. Krishna, what is this? Did you kill the cow and the calf? Krishna laughed. Yes, that's it. Narada Muni got so angry. She put, do we have brain at all? Huh? Do you have any brain at all? That guy who did not even give even little water where he got so much, you said, have, have all the wealth and all the money, all the pay. And now what did you do for this poor lady? That was the only one she was living, living with. And you killed that also. Yes. Yes. I did that. I don't understand. Yes, Narada ji. Yes. Now you listen to me. My devotees are different. I want only those hearts which are dear to me, the sweet hearts. Those who don't care about my own devotees, they insult my own devotees. I don't want them to come back to me. What do they? Why? So, by blessing them to have all kinds of things, they will never come back. Why? They get entangled and entangled and entangled. They will go through millions and millions of birth and death. They get lost. They will never come to me. So that this blessing will take care of that. Oh. Oh, then, then, where did you kill the cow? Okay, that's fine, okay. Then why did you kill the cow? This is a poor lady. You know what, Naradaji? That heart is a sweet heart. I know. It is a sweet smelling flower. I want it. You know, I am greedy. Right? I am greedy. I want that heart. But there is only one small dead one. She had an attachment to that cow. Because you know me. Everyone who really wants me should have complete clean heart. There is nothing else. No other desire other than me. So she had everything. Look at when we went. She was really offering everything to me. But she thinks that the cow is the, is the wealth of her. Did you, did you hear what she said? What did she say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, this is my world, my wealth. Everything for me. Here you go. Let's attack it. I don't know, no, no, I want to clean because he's almost clean. So, I, so what I did? I killed the cow. <laughs> yeah, but now what is she going to do? She will be a beggar. She doesn't have anything to do, anything to, to eat, anything to drink, nothing. Because there is no money. So she will be on the street begging and begging. And the only thing is, they will be thinking only about me. There is nothing to worry about. Krishna, 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 somebody give something. Oh, Krishna, you gave something, you eat. Then, I will take. Then why did you take that time itself? Because, see, you know, he, she has attachment. She had to just go through that cleaning process. Then everything will be fine. <coughs> now you understand that? Yes. <coughs> Narayana said, Yes, Krishna, you are very sophisticated. <laughs> very, very sophisticated. I mean, I cannot, nobody can understand you. This is, that is why our prana and all the, all the sastras, they cannot express the quality of Krishna. Quality of Krishna, not the other gods will go for the dust of the thing. No way. Krishna is completely other way. He is controlled by his own devotees. Krishna is very special. Very, very special. Right? And when Narada heard that, oh, he was very, very happy. 
because that was the only attachment she had. Now she, she, she got the full explanation. Yes, yes, Krishna, yes. I wish that all your devotees are always beggars. Why? Because that's not attachment. They'll be singing only about you. They're thinking only about you. And finally, you come. You are a greedy person. You are very greedy. Then Krishna says, Oh Narada, everybody rows the boat of their life trying to reach me, the shore. But to the one who thinks only of me to serve without any other desire, I shall personally go and take him. I was almost there, but except for a small one, right? If they don't have any other desire, not they have, no, they don't have to, who to worry about. I will go and then get them. It is my responsibility. We are all rowing our boat. For what? Reaching the other side, the shore. The other shore. Ah, 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 ah. 
ಕೋಯ್ ಕೈಲಸ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಪೂರಬಾಜೆ ಕುಕುಂತ 
माधव यादव हरि बोलो रे बोलो रे बदन बारी मिचे निध बजे गेला रे राती ती बस सरी रजे मन दूर लब मानव देख पैया की कर भावना के है ये बेना बजिले ये शोद सुख चर में पदी बेलाजेदीत तपन कहले अस्त दिन गेल बोली कही बे व्यस्त तब के ने बे अलस हो नवज कृदयराजे जीवन अनित्य जान सार ताके नीदे विपद मार नाम श्रय करी यतन तुम्हें ताक है आपन काजे कृष्ण नाम सुधा करिया पान जुड़ा वो बगती विनोद प्राण नाम बिना किचु नाही कहार चौद भुवन माझे जी बेर कल्याण साधन काम कृत गगन वीराजे उदिल अरुण पूरब बागे द्विज मणि गोरा अमनि जागे भगत मोग लिया साते केल नगर ब्राजे अरुण पूरब बागे द्विज मणि गोरा अमनि जागे भगत मोग लिया साते केल नगर ब्राजे Very nice. In the nutshell, 
He gave very nice, very nice. Wonderful. Hare Krishna.